Right, it's Friday the 16th of June and um, it's the day before Amber's birthday, that's my granddaughter who'll be 17, she'll be 17, she'll be 17 tomorrow on the 17th, she'll be 17. Anyway, I thought this was rather a nice picture here at Mulberry House of Brent Knoll. At the moment, it's still looking quite green, Brent Knoll is. But we're in the middle of a short heat wave, which basically is our summer. They call it a heat wave. <laughs> it's true. We get three days of sun and it's called a heat wave. Anyway, I've decided I was stayed in for two days because I had a big walk the other day. I had things to do at home, but I thought, well, no, it might change. So I'm over on the Roman road, which I don't do very often. But because it's the tick season, I'm keeping a bit away from... Well, I, w I will be risking it later, but... Um, I'm trying to... Uh, have a stretches where I don't go near any ticks. Anyway, there's my uh, rucksack. Not loaded up too much. It's, it feels heavy because I've got lots of water in there. I've got my water for the day. Right, I'm just going to turn off then. This is Sheila over on the Roman Road, bleeding. Do a small video because it's absolutely gorgeous here. There's Brent Knoll. There's the River Axe down there winding its way round. Look. Hinkley Point over there, the Bristol Channel where all the rivers meet and you've got all these lovely lovely poppies look, an array of colour, isn't it gorgeous? I took lots of photos, I thought I'd just do a small video because this only happens once a year, I don't come up here very often, so it's just so gorgeous isn't it? Just zoom in and out. Absolutely gorgeous. What a lovely, happy sight. What a lovely home they've got there, and they've got this beautiful view of the poppies. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's different sorts there's pink ones, purple ones, red ones. It's just so gorgeous. I thought, well, I'll take some pictures, which I've done. Look at that lovely flower look at that it's gorgeous look at that lovely view over there look got to make the most of it haven't we got to make the most of it you have to got they got a campsite up there what's it called that campsite Gorselands. Right, let me just make a note of it. Exclusive to members. Yeah, well, I used to be a member, but I don't really... Um... Right, small video. I've come all the way up Roman Road and it hasn't been too bad at all. The first part was the worst bit. When you first start going up, it's quite steep in the beginning and for quite a while and then it evens out once you get to the golf course area. And then it's quite, it's all right, you don't know you're going up. Now, this is a field, there's a very, very trimmed hut and wood, by the way. I will need to walk through that again. That looks very, very skinny. Like it's been attacked big, big time, I'd say. Looks very thin, very sparse, very clipped. Anyway, this is a field I sometimes come across after coming up from Hutton over there, coming through the wood and walking, and then I sometimes come across this, this field and get out here, depending on where I'm going, of course. I'm glad I didn't today, because that's very long, the grass, and uh, very long. Could have been full of snakes and ticks, who knows? Anyway, this is quite a nice little route. Um, oh 
God, look. They used to be able to, used to, be able to walk down there. They stopped all that. Um, <sighs> Hold on, we just um, go up here a minute and let this vehicle pass. Is there another one? God, look at the size of this dandelion flower. Look how big it is. It's absolutely massive. I don't think I've ever seen one this big. Look at it. What a big, big dandelion flower. I'm going to have to take a picture. It's massive. Stop a minute. It might not be a dandelion flower. No, it is. It's got dandelion. It's huge. That's some um, global warming for you. Now up here there's a little lay-by where people stop for picnics, look at the views. Um, my plan today is to My plan today is to go to Compton Bishop and then back to What's that other place called? We just go over and have a look at the views. Compton Bishop. Can't be anyone in it. They've got their windows shut. And then back to Winscombe. That's the plan today. I could have done it in the other order, but the thing is, I did do the West Mendip walk not that long ago, the other way. So I sometimes do do it twice a year, and I do it... One day I'll do it one way, then I'll do it another. They said it was going to be hazy today. I edit out cars, but I sometimes do keep them in, just in case there's a reason to have to report them, or, or if they're involved in a crash or something. Or something worse. Now this is new, this bench. This is new. And what's it say? Tim Rosell, or Ra Rosell. Always same as Zara, 1973 to 2020. Enjoy the view. Wow, he's same as Zara. 50, he'd be 50 now. Yeah, I always think of that. I always think of the kids when someone has a date like that and this is a young person's seat that I'm sitting on. Oh, well, nice view, Tim. Yeah, it's a nice place for you to have picked to put your seat here or your family have. Or did he kill himself? I mean, you don't know, do you? Did, did he come up here? I mean, we don't know. And I shouldn't even think it, but it, sometimes people put plaques up where someone passed away. Or they just love this walk. <coughs> right, over and over. We won't be too more, but just think, well, he loved this place. And this is where he wanted his to be remembered here. For some reason. Over and out. Let me take a